Hello, welcome to MOFA News, your most reliable source of Korean public diplomacy news. I'm Han ji from UNESCO Division, MOFA. Minister of Science and ICT of the Republic of Korea, Lim Hesu, and NASA Administrator Bill Nelson announced that the Republic of Korea had signed the Artemis Accords on May 24. For the first time in 50 years, since the Apollo project, the United States launched the Artemis program in 2017, a manned mission to the moon, and established the Artemis Accords. The Artemis Accords contains a practical set of principles to guide the exploration and use of the moon, Mars, comets, and asteroids for peaceful purposes. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs and the Ministry of Science and ICT have worked to join the Artemis Accords and succeed in reaching an agreement with the United States on the occasion of the Korea-US summit. Korea became the 10th nation to join the Artemis Accord and the first nation to sign the Accords under the Biden administration. By signing the Artemis Accords, the Korea-US cooperation in space will be expanded and Korea will be able to participating in the Artemis program and other space exploration programs. The Korea side is developing the nation's first robotic lunar exploration mission, the Korea Pathfinder Lunar Orbiter, in cooperation with NASA, which is set to blast off in August 2022. The KPLO is expected to be equipped with NASA's shadow cam that will take a video of the permanently shadowed regions of the moon. This is to help select a landing spot for the Artemis programs. And this is MOFA News.